Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have called it quits after six years of marriage. The couple share four children together. In December, a source told ET Kim and Kanye were having difficulties in their marriage but were both doing their best. Quote, the decision to go separate ways comes after a string of highly publicized issues between the couple in 2020. On July 4th, Kanye announced he was running for president. During a rally in South Carolina a few weeks later, the rapper delivered a speech saying he and Kim discussed an abortion before having their daughter North. So even if my wife were to divorce me after this speech, she brought North into the world even when I didn't want to. A source told ET at the time that Kim was upset over the speech, adding, quote, she knows this is something North will see when she gets older, and that's hard. seen him go through a lot, and he's just the most genuine person. And, you know, he might say things that might get misinterpreted and people don't see the context behind it, but I always know his heart. In May, Kim and Kanye came together to celebrate their sixth wedding anniversary. Kim captioned the post, six years down, forever to go, until the end. The former couple publicly stood by each other's sides through ups and downs throughout the years. I mean, we love each other's opinions and we definitely rely on each other for each other's opinions when we're working on things. The two met back in 2003 and remained friends until they started dating in 2012. Kim and I have been best friends for a really long time and just been in each other's lives and known each other for a long time. And I can honestly say, um, I think that's just a really good foundation for a good relationship. By December 2012, Kanye announced Kim was pregnant during a concert in Atlantic City, referring to Kim as his baby mama. Kim later confirmed the news on Twitter. Okay, so we are officially oh. going okay, through Okay, don't have to that word. I am so I'm excited to so meet cool. you. Dad is on a plane and literally I'll call back. Now, he's going to break when he realizes he's going to be Really in June 2013, they welcomed their first child, daughter North. She definitely has Kanye's outgoing personality and will say whatever is on her mind, mm -hmm. no matter what it is or who it might offend. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she's also really calm and sweet, like me sometimes. Kanye proposed to Kim in front of her family and friends in October 2013. He rented out the entire San Francisco baseball stadium and proposed to her on her 33rd birthday with a stunning 15 karat diamond ring. That was the craziest experience of my life and such an amazing time. So. Did you think it was happening that night? Uh, absolutely not. I had no idea. I thought we were having dinner. And then when we walked out, I thought it was just going to be dinner. Um, out on the baseball field. I still had no idea he was going to propose. It was so surreal. In May 2014, the two were married in Florence, Italy. It's the best feeling to have your own family and kids, and it's the best. In December 2015, they welcomed their second child, son Saint. I don't know why I'm crying. I've talked about this before. Nearly one year later, in October 2016, Kim was tied up and robbed at gunpoint in Paris. They tried it the last trip, but Kanye was there and they were too scared. And then they said they saw on social media that I had this huge new ring. Just tell them I have children, like I have babies, I have a husband, I have a family, like I have to get home. Tell them take anything, I'll never say, like I saw them, like take everything. The robbery had a huge impact on Kanye. Kanye said the robbery was a major factor that caused him to suffer a breakdown a month later. What's wrong? Don't scare me, please. What's going on? Like, I can't. <laughs> A source told ET at the time that Kim was dedicated and devoted to Kanye more than ever following his hospitalization. Soon, the two would continue expanding their family, welcoming their third child, daughter Chicago, via surrogate in January 2018. And in May 2019, Kim and Kanye welcomed their son, Psalm, completing their family. Kanye and I work really hard, and I hope that's motivating for them, and just to find their own path. That same month, the two renewed their vows in a private ceremony. What does it mean to you to have this family now, Kanye, and you look at your daughter, you look at your wife, and... How has that fulfilled your life? It's given me a whole perspective, an understanding of what to work for, what to live for, and an understanding of how other families 
you know, it does operate. Make you put things in perspective, and it does yeah. make you just, you know, like everyone goes through this, and you have no idea what it really is like until you go through it yourself. But it's the best feeling to have your own family and kids, and it's the best. I really had to get myself together because I do have kids and right. I do have you know, a family that I have to just be positive and get it together for. Kim Kardashian is not looking to move on romantically just yet. Amid speculation that she's preparing to divorce her husband, Kanye West, after six years of marriage. A source tells ET that the pair is on solid and amicable terms, though Kim is ready for any decision she needs to make, especially when it comes to their four children, seven-year-old North, five-year-old Saint, three-year-old Chicago, and one-year-old Song. That's really all I want to focus on. I believe no matter what's going on in your life, you can take that time to grieve for a second, no matter what it is, what you're grieving, feel those feelings, and then figure out how to be positive about it because it's not gonna change. In terms of how Kim is coping with everything, according to the source, spending time with her family helps. I just think like we're definitely a close family, like more than probably normal. Kim recently shared this adorable birthday post for her three-year-old niece Stormy, who was seen enjoying some girl time with cousin Chicago True and Dream. The source says, quote, there have been lots of play dates and family time, which is exactly what the entire family thinks Kim needs right now. Hey, Ryan, go away. Come and get another day. Little Sonny wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. As far as if the kids know what's going on, according to the source, they have an idea. Quote, Kim tries to keep it light and position the situation as a good thing that their dad is taking some time to reflect and get healthy and that they will see him soon when he's doing better. I've seen him go through a lot and he's just the most genuine person. And you know, he might say things that might get misinterpreted and people don't see the context behind it, but I always know his heart. As for dating anyone new, source told ET that Kanye not being around isn't shocking to the kids because Kanye has always been busy traveling. The source went on to say that at the end of the day, Kim and Kanye will do what's best for their kids and are on great terms as parents.